In order to factor this polynomial completely, we first want to take out the greatest common factor between these, which is a 5y squared. If we take divide the 5 and the y squared out of the first term, we're left with 3y squared. Then minus 5 into 35 is 7 times, and taking the y squared out of the y cubed, dividing that out leaves y. And finally, 5 goes into 10 two times, and we've already um, divided out the y squared, so it's plus 2. Now what we want to do is look at this remaining trinomial and see if it can be factored. So we carry the 5y squared down. We try to break down our remaining trinomial. We can see that second sign is positive, which means both signs are the same, so they must both be negative, which is our first sign. Um, now we know to get a 2 on the last term, we have to have a 2 and a 1, although we could reverse it and make it a 1 and a 2. Then what we have is 3y squared, so we know we need a y in each space, and then a 3 and a 1. This is one way we could try this, where the 2 is multiplied by the 1 and the 3 is multiplied by the 1. But if that doesn't work, we can also reverse these so the 3 is multiplied by the 2 and the 1 is multiplied by the 1. But looking at it in this combination, our inner term is negative 2, our outer term is negative 3. That gives us a negative 5, and so that combination will not work. So that means let's try reversing these. And instead, having 3y minus the 1, and then 1y minus the 2. So that for an inner term, we get negative 1y, an outer term is negative 6y, and together that does give us the negative 7y, which means this is the factored form we want. If we look at each individual binomial, they cannot be broken down any further, so it's completely factored.